The Imperial County Office of Education Alternative Education Program operates six community schools serving at-risk students, including district expelled and court order students. A team of highly qualified and caring teachers strive to improve the academic achievement of our students while empowering them to become productive members of the community by reinforcing positive self-concepts and promoting effective relationships with others. Students are guided towards the positive changes necessary for success at school and in the workplace. Uh, the alternative education program uh, really serves a unique need of our students. Um, we feel that for whatever reason the, the normal or the, the, the system has not met the needs of our students so then they end up in our system either by uh, a discipline action or uh, volunteered uh, by the parents or even some, sometimes we have students that feel that we have brought a stronger support. One of the things that we've really focused on with the program is the ability to graduate our students and just uh, two years ago we received WASC accreditation and we have had this year uh, our, new, our first graduates of the program and that, that's something that we've seen growing and we have students who have gone back to their normal high schools and are returning to our program because they feel that the supports and the structures there allow them to be more successful. Alternative Education School is to educate our students in becoming productive citizens of society, um, refer them back to their districts, graduate from high school, um, attain a job, a career, and really focus on their, their learning. Students enrolled in our program have a higher educational uh, failure rate, a dropout rate, and, and unfortunately sometimes delinquency. So it was very important to us to go through the WASC accreditation, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. It was important for us to provide our kids with another alternative to graduate from high school. So um, I'm very excited to say that we are going through the WASC process. We have been going through the process for approximately one year. One year. Uh, we are going to be visited in February of the following school year. So we have a lot of work to do. Um, we are very excited that seven of our, our students enrolled in our program graduated this year. So we look forward to graduating many more in the following school years. We currently have two online programs, which is Edunity and Edmentum. We, uh, the Alternative Ed staff, understands the need and importance for all our students to acquire the journey first century learning skills. Therefore, we have contracted with these two online programs, which are very rigorous, re uh, research-based, and they both in engage and empower our students for success. Both online programs are streamlined with the Common Core, so they give the students access to core curriculum, uh, credit recovery, uh, summer school, uh, career tech, uh, technical education, which will give the students the opportunity to acquire credits and earn their high school diploma. Project Teamwork is a collaborative between the IED and the ICOE. It's a program that focuses on uh, working with students in the leadership skills, uh, job, readiness, job readiness skills, uh, there's a parent involvement piece, and we put uh, students and to work out in the community. And we're currently working with uh, 25 uh, businesses out there. At the end of the program, students have an opportunity to earn up to about a thousand dollars in a stipend. I think the program has had many years of success. We're hearing more personal stories now and the more recent because of the changes in the program. Obviously, we feel that is something we want to grow. We feel we're meeting a need, and we're also seeing that in this community, we're a viable option for many of our students. One of our goals has always been to differentiate the program for our students, and that's really hard because we get students that come in with a wide range of abilities. You know, in their, in their academics, there's huge gaps, and so we really try to target those gaps and also give them that one-on-one -on -one support or that small group support to make them successful. So when we hear uh, students come back and talk to us or present at a board meeting and, and share how their, their, our support was essential to their success, it really validates the hard work that the program has had. It validates the support that Mrs. Mallory has given the program. It validates the support that the community has given the program, the parents, the teachers. Um, so it really validates that piece and it helps us understand or makes us feel that we're on the right path.